For two years now, the Talons have given San Antonio their football fix in the spring. But due to the recent change in management, the Talons may not call the Dome home for long. I knew that uh, our foundation was unstable, you know, so it was a, it was a double-edged sword, knowing that it's not very reassuring. What's not assured is who will be writing the checks for the Talons in the future. The AFL recently seized ownership of the franchise from former owner David Lynn for, quote, failure to meet league obligations. Now, players and coaches are trying to remain optimistic. I was happy because I knew that, again, we were going to have a season this year. It gives us opportunity to look at other possibilities and people coming in and maybe purchasing a team and, and, and saying, hey, coach, we're going to be around for another four or five years. So now the question is, who will step in and assure the future of the franchise? For years, the Spurs have been seen as the good guys in San Antonio, and now it's being reported that they have shown interest in acquiring the talents. What we're all looking for is some type of stability, and they would most definitely provide that because I don't think the Spurs would jump in it and jump right out. I think it will be a long, long-term long deal. Whether or not the Spurs will buy the talents is still up in the air, but what's for certain is football will be back in San Antonio in 2014, and that's just where Coach Johnson wants to be. It's Texas. And it's football. It's like going to the Sahara Desert and saying, hey, I got water for sale. It's a football city. It's a football state. To take football out of San Antonio, for me, it would be a disaster. So the Talons will call San Antonio home at least for one more season. And they'll kick off the season right here at the Dome against Gene Simmons and the L.A. Kiss, one of the most creative team names in all the league. From the Dome, Jeff Jones, News 4, San Antonio.